So hello fellow coin collectors, how are you going today? My name is Glenn and today I have a Byzantine coin. As you can see here, you can see an image of a person and you're wondering, oh, who is that person? Who could it be? Well, if you don't know anything about the Byzantines, is that they were a Christian monarchy. So, if you have a look up close, who is the most revered person in Christianity? Now, there is really only one person, and that is Jesus. And that is who this guy is. It's actually an anonymous follus of uh, Jesus. And as you can see, he has a cross in the background. So, he has, oh, he has a cross there with a halo. And halos generally um, identify with angels. Well, Jesus wasn't an angel. He was, according to some, the son of God. Or maybe God himself. But this is an anonymous follower. So it, is a, it was the actual base bronze coin of the time period. So on this coin, so this will be the obverse of the coin. Because it has the most important feature on it. And it is Jesus. And the capital of Byzantine was actually Byzantine or Constantinople, which it was called at that time, named after Constantine the First. The original name that the Greeks gave it was Byzantine, and that's why the empire is called the Byzantine Empire. But they called themselves Romanes because they still identified with the Roman Empire. And at the time, the language was actually Greek, but I'd say. The sentence that was probably still in Latin. But because this coin was for the average person, and in the eastern part of the Roman Empire, they've always been Greek as the main language, so this is in Greek. And on this side, it has the inscription, Emmanuel, and that means God with us, so that's here, and it ends around here. And here we have IC and XC. So it's probably, I haven't actually found why that is. Maybe it is the date. So X is 10, yeah, whatever. I'm not too sure what the ICXC is. And here's Jesus in his robe. And this has various um, variations. The most uh, striking feature is the dots here. You get some with two, some with four. This one obviously has five. And I haven't actually seen a match of this coin on Wildwinds, which is a large database of um, ancient Roman and Greek coins. But if you want Asian coins, you go to Zeno, which are, they don't have actually Roman coins. And as a comparison with another Roman coin, here I have a Roman S. So AS. Ah. Uh, that light's bad. So, so this one is a Roman S of uh, Claudius, which is about, oh, it's at least a thousand years earlier than this coin. And as you can see, this Roman coin is more in the uh, style of um, classical Rome, uh, which is based on the Greek style, and this is more derived from uh, Orthodox iconography. So if we have a look at the other side, this one just says SC for the Senate, but we'll put that up there. We'll look at this coin. This actually has a full inscription in uh, actual Greek. And it says, Jesus Christos Basile, Basile. So, Jesus Christ, King of Kings. Basile is our king. And I presume, I'm not too familiar with Greek, but one of these is plural. I presume the top one, because it has the, uh, looks like a Y on the end, is a plural, and the bottom one is actually a singular. So, Jesus Christ, kings, king, so king of kings. And if you don't know anything about Greek, it's actually an Indo-European language, it's related to English. It's also related to Hindi and Nepalese, because they're also Indo-European. And, well... This would be, oh, probably medieval Greek, 
can't remember, Bison or in Greek, I think they call it. So what the usual weight of this coin is about 11 to 14 grams and about uh, 30 to 34 millimeters. This one's probably a, bit, a little bit smaller. As you can see the flan, it's actually some of the images off the flan. So the flan is just the metal part of the coin. And the dies, which have the image on it, pressed on the coin. Which is, uh, well, separate from this coin, but it gives it the image. So up the top, uh, a lot of that is actually off the coin as well. But most of it is legible. And it's actually quite a nice coin for its age. Now, who issued this? Well, we're not too sure. It's called anonymous because it has no name of the ruler. But we think it might be in Basil the fur the second, I mean, which is a uh, nine seventy six to ten twenty five, or Constantine the eighth, which reign who reigned in about ten fifty to ten sixty. So this coin is thousand years older than this coin and as you can see I would say the actual well the, the design pattern actually changed the quality of the actual minting of the coins actually was reduced uh, as you can see if you look a lot of our uh, Byzantine coins you'll see that the quality of actually minting is uh, not really high and you get to see that in other parts of the world as well. So if you, so we have that one. This image seems to be pretty good. But if you have a look at this quality, this is really high. It's high quality. Very good. That one's pretty worn. Pretty oxidized as well. And this is an Antonianus. We don't know the denomination, but as you can see, the image is pretty good. So, that is a Byzantine coin. Beautiful. I like to get bison land coins. So, I would like to know down below if you collect the uh, ancient coins, Byzantine, Roman, doesn't matter. I also like to collect uh, Indian coins. Punch mark coin there. Beautiful. Ancient coins, doesn't matter where it comes from, they're awesome. But the most expensive ones will probably be Aksum. Maybe I'll get a coin one day and I'll show you it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll leave a link down below to my eBay. If you'd like to help out this channel. Because I'd like to get new stuff to uh, actually show you. And teach you what you can actually get out there. So thank you very much. Have an awesome coin collecting time people. Bye bye.